Okay, hello everyone. So the topic I'm going to share with you now is vectors. Okay, in vectors, there are only eight skills that you need to know to ace your IB exam. Okay, so first, uh, what does it mean by vectors? So vectors uh, is a line. Okay, first point, line with direction. Okay, is a line with direction. So direction. So let's say if it goes right, okay, so it can be positive 10, right? Okay, if it goes left, it can be negative 10. Okay, so positive and negative, so it means different direction, right? Okay, so let's say uh, uh, point A, okay, so vector A, what does it mean? So 1, 2, 3, so we know that uh, X is uh, 1, okay, yeah, so let's say this one, 3D plane, X and then Y here, okay, and this is that axis, right, 3D plane. Okay, so X is 1 and then Y is 2. And then Z is 3, right? So we point. So we know that 1, 2 is at this point, okay? But it's 3D plane, so it goes up to here, right? Okay, starting from the origin, goes to here, okay? So this is point A. Yep. Yeah, so 1, 2, 3. Okay, so point, so vector in the exam questions, okay? Whenever you see A, okay? So what does it mean? So it means O to A, okay? It's always like that, okay? So B. It means from O to B, okay? So it, it gives you the, uh, the direction, okay? So from O to A. Yeah, okay, but uh, usually the IB exam question will ask you, okay, to find the vectors A, B, and then find the vectors B, B A, right? But how do you find this? Okay, so first, uh, you should know that this skill is head minus tail, okay, head minus tail. So we look at the head of the arrow, Okay, so and then the tail of the arrow, right? So the head of the arrow is B, so just B and then minus A, okay? So B is what? B is 4, 5, 6, and then minus 1, 2, 3, okay? So minus 1, 2, 3, yep. Okay, so the answer is what? The answer is, so 4 minus 1 is 3, okay? And then 5 minus 2 is 3, and then the last one, 6 minus 3 is Three, yeah. So always um, be uh, head minus tail. Okay. Yeah. So how about <coughs> how about BA? So BA you can see is different direction, right? So different direction, and we know that AB um, is three, three, three. Okay. So three, three, three. Yeah. So for AB. So but BA is different direction, right? So basically you can just add a negative in front of the three, three, three. Right. Okay, so B A is negative three three three, or you can use the hat minus tail, right? So A minus B. Okay, so same thing. So one two three minus four five six. Okay, so you have this answer: negative three, negative three, and negative three. Okay, so hat minus tail. Okay, so and the second skill that you need to know is magnitude. Okay, so how do you find the magnitude? So magnitude, uh, you can write this down. It can only be zero or positive okay so it means it cannot be negative so no negative okay yeah so how do you find the magnitude so it's very easy so just refer to the data booklet okay yeah so it's always v1 square plus v2 square plus uh, v3 square okay and then square root yep okay so you're given da the uh, vectors okay 7 minus 8 and then 2 okay so how to find the magnitude so this two lines okay just like this okay so this tells you that to find the magnitude, okay? Yeah, so to find dA, the magnitude, okay? So we can write in this way, yeah? Okay, so it's equal to what? It's square root, seven square, and then plus negative eight square, and then plus two square, okay? And then just put it in your calculator, and then you should find the answer. So 49 plus 64 plus four, okay? Yeah. Okay, so let's move on to um, scalar product. Okay, so scalar product is one of the most uh, important concept in vectors. So this helps you to find out the angle between two vectors. Okay, so and uh, on your data booklet, you're given a dot b equals to a b cosine theta. Okay, so you don't, you don't need to memorize this. So all you need to know is that this part is about the vectors and this part is about the magnitude. Okay, so magnitude. Yeah, so. Uh, let's look at this question, okay? Find theta. Find theta, the angle between these two vectors. So we know A, okay, so it refers to O to A, right? And then B is O to B, yeah? Okay, so let's say this point is O, 
Okay, so I'm pointing this point is A. Okay, pointing to this direction is B. Okay, so obviously between them there is an ang there is an angle, right? Okay, so um, so that's why we need to use the equation a dot b equals a b cosine theta to find out the angle between these two vectors. Okay, so a dot b. So we know that this part is the vectors, right? So two, three, four. Okay, and then dot seven, eight, nine. Okay, yeah, equals to square root mm -hmm, two square. Yeah. So how do you find the magnitude? So it's square root, and then uh, two square plus three square plus four square, right? Yeah, and then times square root seven square plus eight square plus nine square. Close the bracket. Yeah, and then times what? Cosine theta. Okay, cosine theta. Yep. Okay, so how do you do the scalar product? Always remember, there are only two steps, okay? One is you multiply, okay? And then the second step is that you add all this up, okay? So MA. Yeah, so first, you multiply the x first, okay? So 7 times 2 is 14, right? 8 times 3 is 24, and then 9 times 4 is 36, yep. Okay, so on the right hand side, basically you can just put it in your calculator. Okay, so square root um, 2 square, yeah, so let me calculate that, square root 29, okay, times square root um, square, right? Okay, so you have square root 194 and then cosine theta, right? Okay, so scalar product. We have to multiply after we multiply that, and then we have to what? Add all this up, right? So 14 plus 24 plus 36. So it's 74, okay? So you can write this down 74, right? So just add uh, 14 and then 24 and then 30, uh, 36 up, right? And then square root 29 times square root uh, 194, right? So it's equal to how many? So basically, you can just multiply the inside here, 29 times 194, right? So you have square root 5, 6, 2, 6, and then cosine theta, right? Okay. And then finally, you should know how to do it, right? Because just um, divide 74 by root um, 5, 6, 2, 6, and then cosine theta, okay, equals to... 74, yeah, and then divide by square root 5626, uh, five, okay? Yeah, so put it in your calculator, and then you do the inverse, right? So inverse cosine, okay? So 74 divided by square root 5626, six, okay? And then inverse cosine, answer. And then you have the theta is equal to 9.3 zero in 3SF, okay? So in your calculator, you should have 9.3, uh, 9.3976, okay? But round this to 3SF, and the angle is 9.40, okay? So this is how you do the um, scalar product and find an angle. But one more thing that you need to know for this concept is the case one, two, three here. This is very important. That separates you uh, a level 6 and level 7 students, okay? Yeah, so this equation can only apply to both point up case and then both point down case, okay? So you can see the arrow. This one is both point up and this one is both point down, right? Okay, both point down. Yep. Okay, so case 3, you can see one is point down and then one is pointing up. So to find the angle between these two uh, vectors, Okay, always remember, you have to flip either one of them, okay, to the same direction. So this one point up, let's say it's one, two, three, okay? So how do you flip this? So basically just add a negative in front of the vector. So it's minus one, two, three, okay? Yeah, and then you can just do the same thing. So A dot B, so this one is A, let's say, and then B. So pointing down, both pointing down, okay? And then we use the equation a dot b equals to ab cosine theta. And then you can find out the answer.